All right, let's go over this problem together. Make sure that you already tried to do it by yourself before you watch this video with me, okay? So this question says, Mrs. Walters wants to buy a bottle of glue. Which coins does she need? Well, first let's look at our bottle of glue and what, um, how much money is this bottle of glue? 27 cents. So we need to see which one of these options has enough money to buy 27 cents worth of glue. So we'll use what we learned yesterday to help us um, count and decide which um, collection of coins we can um, use. So right here we have a dime. What is a dime worth? 10 cents. Good job. So we have 10 plus 5 more is 15 plus 5 more is 20. So 10, 15, 20 plus 1 more equals 21 cents. If we had 21 cents, would we be able to buy this bottle of glue? Would we have enough? No, because 21 cents is less than 27 cents, right? So do we need these coins? Can we use these coins? No, not these coins. Let's look at our next um, coins, okay? So we have two dimes, so we'll count by tens. 10, 20. All right, now we need to add five more cents because we have our nickel, so that's 25, 26, 27. So this is equal to 27 cents. Can we buy the bottle of glue with these 27 cents? Yes, we can, right? We only need 27 cents to buy that bottle of glue. Well, let's look at our last one just to double check, okay? So I see that we have two dimes. We have 10, 20, 21, 22. This is 22 cents. So, do we, if we have 22 cents here, do we have enough to buy our 27 cents worth of glue? No, we don't. So that means that right here, letter B or the second choice is the correct amount of choice. Or is the correct amount of coins to buy our bottle of glue. Give me a thumbs up if that is what you chose. Awesome job.